Hey, look what I have here. This is Xiyun Smooth Q. A stabilizer that can track you and it costs only $139. And here it is. Shiyun Smooth Q. As you can see, it comes in this simple box and it comes with a manual, a carrying bag, a USB to micro USB cable, and the Smooth Q gimbal itself. Smooth Q seems to be a very good alternative to Osmo Mobile. It even has a couple of very good features Osmo Mobile doesn't have, like the mount can be rotated into portrait mode. Also, if you purchase one of those switch mounts for GoPro, Smooth Q can be a very good alternative to GoPro Grip as well. And it costs less than both Osmo Mobile and GoPro Grip. It has a 4-way joystick, record mode and zoom button. The mount can hold an iPhone 7 Plus while it is in its case, but you cannot balance it. But it's okay. You can take the case off, mount it on Smooth Q, balance it nicely, and start shooting steady videos. Smooth Q delivers high quality stabilization for your smartphones, lets you shoot silky smooth footage and achieve that cinema look you desired for the longest time. Smooth Q lets you dream big, helps you get close to the Hollywood dream you had since you were 29 because someone told you that you can totally be discovered in LA. Like, Totally. Oh wow, I'm so bored. Can we get to the Rocky test and start comparing Smooth Q to Osmo Mobile, please? Please! Now let's look at the tracking. As you can see, Osmo Mobile reacts a lot faster, where Smooth Q seems to be taking things a little smoother Alright, let's see if they can lose me I think they lost me Did they, Can they find me back? Yes I like how, how they find you back That's really good Alright, I'm gonna turn to my side Going this way Turn to my side, going this way I'm gonna turn my back, turn this way. Instead of tracking, Smooth Q seems to be following the motion, where on Osmo you can clearly see from the brackets around the object that it is tracking. And it's tracking good. Osmo Mobile is a lot more responsive and faster to track. And then, I, as you can see, it randomly picked me. Now it's tracking me. Also in Osmo Mobile, you don't have to touch and drag. You can just tap on something and it starts tracking it. Smooth Q. Q 
It doesn't do that. You have to touch and drag. Oh, 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 smooth cue of my eye. Osmo Mobile costs $299. Smooth Q costs $139. That also explains why Smooth Q is plastic and Osmo Mobile is magnesium alloy. Smooth Q weighs 450 grams and Osmo Mobile weighs 487 grams. Osmo Mobile has 980 milliampere hour battery. Smooth Q has 26,650 milliampere hour battery. Osmo Mobile has 4.5 hours battery life and Smooth Q has 12 hours of battery life. Which is why you can use this USB port and charge your devices. It provides 5 volts 2000 milliampere power output. Smooth Q supports from 75 grams to 220 grams where I wasn't able to find what Osmo Mobile supports but it supports iPhone 7 Plus which is 189 grams which means it also probably can support up to 200 or 220 grams. When it comes to color options, if you're into that kind of thing, this comes in black or silver, where Smooth Q comes in black, space gray, gold, and rose gold. As you probably know, when you hold Osmo Mobile like this, you can start shooting vertically. I don't know why it would be shooting in vertical mode, because nowadays Periscope, Facebook Live, all of them support horizontal shooting, which is how things are supposed to be but if you want to shoot in vertical mode you can shoot with Osmo Mobile and also yes you can shoot it with Smooth Q as well hello on the portrait mode Smooth Q has another surprise which is you can unscrew this mount it back like this and use your phone in the portrait mode where you don't need to hold your gimbal like a gangster at a shootout but in this mode if you try to go like this kind of kind of gets confused and starts smacking your uh, jet black iPhone to its own body, especially if it's in the follow mode. If you go like this, it just things just become weird and it acts like a dead fish. Also, the limitation in this mode is a little too much because right now you're looking at the gimbal itself, and if you if you want to look up, it's not allowing me to look up. Right. <laughs> no, don't hit that. So it supports our portrait mode. Sort of, don't, okay. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> when it comes to mounting your device, this has a spring style mount, which is my least favorite thing because when you're out there and you wanna mount your phone, you want a dial style mounting because then you can put your phone Let's say your hands are busy, you have your you have your gimbal in one hand, you have your phone on the other hand, you put it in there and then you hold it like this. And then there you go. But with spring style, and then yeah, you can do it. When it comes to rotation, Osmo Mobile stops here, but Smooth Q can be rotated in 360 degrees. And not just that, when it comes to rotating up, Osmo stops right there, and Smooth Q goes a little bit further. The difference becomes more when you wanna look down. Osmo Mobile stops here, but Smooth Q goes way beyond that. But since we look around with the help of our hands, those angles really don't make much difference. But it's nice to have the option. Let's say you're shooting something over there and then let's say you're vlogging and then 
you want to have yourself in the shot, you can use the 360 angle that this provides to you and just turn it towards yourself and you can start talking to your audience where with this one you have to do something like this to have yourself in the frame the mount for tripod on smooth Q is right there underneath so you can use something like this and easily place it on your table but when it comes to Osmo Mobile it's on the side and you probably need an arm like this so you can mount this here or you have to use this mount at this point you may think wow this is really useless actually I prefer this a lot a lot more than this because with this when you connect it from here the entire weight is up here so if you want to connect you cannot connect this to your bike or anything it's gonna be really heavy if this is on the handle it's gonna start pulling the handle as much as it can and I don't know if it can even survive such force where on this one you connect it to here so the weight is a little bit more distributed gopro grip is the same way as well but for purposes like having it on the table yes this is really good also when it comes to ergonomics since this fits into your hand really easily you don't mind also this part is rubberized plastic so when you want to use the controls you don't mind lifting off your thumb everything is still in your hand you can have the gimbal rest on your finger here and you can use these controls easily however on smooth Q it really doesn't sit in your hand and so when you lift your finger off since it's plastic it's a little slippery also design wise there's another very big difference and that is this trigger button this trigger button is extremely useful it's the thing that I use most when it comes to Osmo Mobile when you hold it down it locks the device so the so the phone stays staring at the same direction and let's say when you double tap it it resets let's say I'm running but I don't like to keep my hand like this I want to hold it a little bit this way let's say I run easier that way so what I do is I hold the trigger down turn the gimbal like this and I let it go so I can run like that with this one you have to go into the mode when you first turn it on it's in the pitch lock mode but you can look left and right when you hit mode once it is in the lock mode no matter what you do it looks at the same place which you can control with the joystick let's say you want to run and then you set it like this and you hit it back it turns back so you cannot control it the way you can control it with this when you hit the mode button twice it is the follow mode follows wherever you're looking and when you hit it three times it turns into selfie mode but this one has a zoom in and zoom out button which this one doesn't but that doesn't mean you cannot zoom in or zoom out with Osmo Mobile if you hold down the trigger and use joystick up and down you can zoom in and zoom out with Osmo Mobile as well smooth Q zooming happens in intervals causing the footage to look a little jumpy where Osmo Mobile can zoom in and out smoothly also I can adjust Osmo Mobile with my hand and this is a very useful feature let's say you mount this on something and, it, and you want it to look somewhere specifically and you don't want to use the joystick you can do this with hand as fast as you can where on this one doesn't allow you to do that let's go into our app make sure your Bluetooth is turned on and now let's go into connect and as you can see smooth Q is here you can see the battery life on the screen you can see pan axis pitch axis roll axis you can see a lot of information and then we have control here where you can control your gimbal let's get out of that and then we have calibration if something is wrong you can calibrate and then we have upgrade button but as you can see the button is looking down you cannot upgrade using the app right now you have to use your computer and then we have stabilizer settings and then we have camera so this is the camera section of this app we have track 
we can take a photo, we can take a video, and then we have the flashlight settings, we have camera, front facing camera, back facing camera, photo video selection, and then we have settings here. We, have, we can set the photo resolution, video resolution is right now 720p because we're on the front facing camera. You can have the video stabilization turned on or off and then you can set ISO, you can set white balance and you can set exposure compensation. If I use the zoom in and zoom out button and hold it to zoom out to wide, if I hold it down, it switches to back camera. And if I hold it in the zoom in position, it switches between photo and video modes. Now one catch with this is it doesn't connect to your device automatically. So every time you set this up and you launch your app, you have to go in and connect yourself. Now let's look at our DJI Go app. Let's start with tracking. You can set your video resolution. You can have beauty effects. You can have your object normal, brighten or darken. You can turn on manual adjust, which in that case it gives you freedom to choose between ISO, shutter speed and white balance. Also you can go into white balance and you have these settings and then you can also select custom. You can turn grid on, you can set the flash and then we have, if you're just walking, as you can see when I turn left and right, it is a little late to follow me, it's smooth, it makes it smoother. If I switch to sport mode, it follows me as fast as it can. And then we have pitch lock and when you turn the pitch lock, of course, the pitch stays the same way. And then we have the settings. Here we can uh, change the camera resolution, panorama quality, or we can reset the camera. And then we have gimbal settings where we can calibrate, we can adjust the gimbal roll. We can configure how fast this joystick is gonna move the camera around. You can change the stick direction. And we have general settings. And then we can live broadcast using DJI Go app. If you push the joystick a little bit, you can adjust the speed of panning. If I push it all the way to the end, I can look around faster, which same thing goes for this. But I can go as slow as this with Osmo Mobile. I don't know if you guys can see. And in the photo mode, I have a lot of options with this. I can shoot a single photo. I can have a timer set. I can shoot HDR. I can shoot panorama. I can shoot long exposure. And I think this is light trail. And in the video modes, I can shoot sta standard, I can shoot slow motion, I can shoot time lapse, and I can shoot motion time lapse where you tell your device to start here and end, let's say, there, and then you hit next, and then you say start, and it shoots a motion time lapse for you. Also, in DJI Go app, we have the editor where you can go and edit your videos. When it comes to other apps, for example, you can use Filmic, which is a fantastic and professional... No, you cannot send me notifications. You can use my location. As you can see, I can go into the settings here, and then in hardware, I can go and select Osmo Mobile and use Osmo Mobile with this app where Smoothku is a little behind when it comes to things like that. I think Osmo Mobile is far superior to Smoothq and it is still the leader in this game even though it was released back in August 2016. The quality, durability and the features of Osmo Mobile are fantastic. However, SmoothQ is not bad at all. It delivers a stabilization comparable to Osmo Mobile. With its 360 rotation, the portrait mode, amazing battery life, ability to charge devices and its $139 price point, it is definitely worth checking out. But also, don't forget that some smartphones have optic stabilization and what it can do on its own is actually pretty surprising. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and join the world domination. Oh, 
Up, up. And please let me know what you think about Smooth Cube versus Osmo Mobile in the comment section below. Track it! Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Go get it. Go get it. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and horse chocolate.